How's it going everyone? This is Ben and today we're going to be talking about one simple ingredient that I buy over the counter to target my back acne, my back knee. And the reason why I'm making this video today is because getting acne medication is very, very expensive to get and it is very, very debilitating to, to someone to see so much back knee and have to deal with the pain of really, really bad cysts. So. I wanted to make this video for people who don't have insurance or people who don't want to go through the system of going to a doctor and getting prescriptions to deal with their back knee. I think I've been having a problem with back acne for the last year after I started testosterone to medically transition, but this video is actually for people of all genders who struggle with having hormonal back acne. And the reason why people even get hormonal back acne is the same reason why we get it on your face. Hormones like to stimulate oil secretion in your hair follicles and that oil is loved by the bacteria that eat it. So bacteria eats the oil in your hair follicles and then it clogs the pore and then you get really really painful cystic acne which is unfortunate, ugly and really hard to deal with sometimes. So I kind of want to give you the story of how I came to this conclusion to use this ingredient because it's kind of crazy that I haven't even thought of this before, but one day I came home to go visit my mother and I was complaining about how painful my back knee is. And my mom is like, why don't you just use some antibacterial soap, like dial and you know, use it and see if it works because it worked for your brother when he was a teenager. And you know, that got me thinking about like what kind of ingredient, because I'm a medical student, obviously I'm going to be thinking about what kind of ingredient is, are there in antibacterial soap that could potentially kill P. acnes, which is the bacteria that creates acne. So I wanted to make sure that you guys have an evidence, statistical uh, scientific evidence that this indeed does work to a degree. And there is one study, one study that was done that actually showed that the ingredient in dial antibacterial soap can kill P. acnes. And by the way, this is the one that I get. This is the Dial White. It's pretty simple, non-drying antibacterial soap. And you might be wondering, why do you have this much? Because this can last me for quite a while. And that's because during the time of COVID crisis, Dial Soap was sold out everywhere in addition to other soaps out there. But for some reason, specifically antibacterial soap was getting sold out everywhere, even though people know that the coronavirus is a virus, it's not, it's not a bacteria. So this is probably not going to be any less different than a regular soap that washes away viruses. So if you want to get this for COVID, don't just get any type of soap and it'll be effect just as effective. Antibacterial soap is not going to kill COVID. It's going to work as effectively as any other soap that's on the market. It's probably cheaper than this, although this is a lot cheaper. But people like me need this soap. So what is it about antibacterial soaps that give it its bacteria killing properties? So the active ingredient in most antibacterial soaps is something called benzalkonium chloride. And it is a molecule and it honestly isn't an antibiotic. It's just something that's created in a lab that's shown to do a lot of things in addition to helping you clean your hands but also killing bacteria. It's also used in laundry detergents and all other types of things. And there has been research done to see like why is it that it kills bacteria and a lot of it, a lot of scientists think it disrupts the properties, the um, attachment properties that bacteria have and that's how it ends up killing them. So there is a study that was done, one study that I could find on pub medicine, and it talks about how commercial grade concentrations of benzalkonium chloride actually does effectively kill P. acne. But you know, that's all science. It doesn't actually work. Like what has been my experience using dial antibacterial soap for my back knee? Well, good news is that it does actually work. It's been working for me for quite a bit now. I've been using it for about two to three-ish months and it has significantly reduced my back knee. Like, they used to be all over my back. They used to be cystic. They used to be really, really painful when I would even sleep. And now I've used it enough. I've used it after about like maybe a month it significantly reduced the back knee that I had. And now I do still have back knee, but it's so much more manageable 
so so much more manage more manageable than you know just dealing with it and my even my even one day when my partner and I uh, were just sitting around they even mentioned that hey your back knee has gone away significantly from the, like what from when you first started this soap so it has helped me quite a bit it hasn't completely eliminated the back knee I'm sure that if I get an antibacterial that is prescribed to me, it'll be more effective. But that's not the reason why I made this video. I made this video so that people have easy access to medications that help treat back knee. Now, I do want to say that every human skin is different. Every human produces different types of oils, different uh, kinds of oils. So it might not necessarily work for everyone, just like with every other medication. But definitely, this is so cheap. You can buy this for, I think, 10 for $10 at Kroger. So it goes down to $1 each. And it'll be incredibly, incredibly helpful. So give it a shot. I mean, it's worth a shot if it's only a dollar. Like, this cost me only, like, six bucks at CVS. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. And I hope you guys give it a shot at least because it's so cheap and I am ready to I'm, I'm super excited to make more videos for you in the future about what I do to help treat uh, my own conditions but also give spread general medical knowledge I do want to emphasize because I don't want to get sued that all information that I give in this video is not personal medical advice it's actually just telling you what's out there in the literature thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on the next one this has been and I love you all